hi guys welcome and thank you so much for coming back for another video in today's video i'll be cleaning i'll be sharing a new recipe with you guys and then i'll be enjoying a nice cozy fall evening as i enjoy my dinner with a glass of wine so let's get right into today's motivation guys my mornings are hectic as a mom of five i like to get up at least an hour and a half before the kids and get breakfast started i want to make sure i have a moment between me and my god you know that's a must i must <laughs> but guys it is hectic so 90 percent of the time i leave my kitchen dirty to go drop my kiddos off and when i come back home then i get that kitchen clean so that's what you see me doing here before i share this amazing pasta recipe that also goes into the crock pot with you guys let me tell you this recipe is good so as i'm cleaning my kitchen i'm thinking about oh my gosh i got to pick up this camera and share this with them so that's what i did and I hope you do consider trying this Pinterest inspired recipe. It is easy. It is delicious. And guys, let me tell you, you're going to be coming back for this one time after time because it's that good. In the midst of me cleaning the countertop, I noticed that the kiddos had some cereal on the dining chairs. So I went ahead and vacuumed that up. But here I'm sharing with you how clean my kitchen is. It is time for me to go now and get my crock pot from the garage and wash the lid because it's it's dusty in the garage. So I'm going to wash the lid and then I'm going to plug my crock pot in so it could start heating up. I'll move over to the pantry and the fridge, get all the ingredients that I need to put this delicious pasta in the process of cooking you guys this pasta is delicious and one that you are going to want to try I got this recipe from Pinterest and guys trust me I'll be doing this one over and over and over it is that good Okay guys, so here I'm sharing with you the ingredients that you'll need for the first part of this recipe. To the crock pot, I add the olive garden Italian sauce. After that, I'm going to move right into washing my chicken. I did trim some of the fat off of that too. But after uh, washing it, I'm going to go right into starting the seasoning. I love to season my meat well. Then I'm going to move right into massaging that meat and putting it aside to marinate for a little while. The one I 
I let the chicken marinate for half an hour. Now it's time for me to take that chicken and put it into the crock pot with that olive garden Italian sauce. Your magic can be now that the chicken is in the crock pot, I'm going to go ahead and put in the Parmesan cheese, the Philadelphia cream cheese, and the sun-ripe tomatoes. I'm going to let that cook for four hours. Then I'm going to take that chicken out of the pot. I'm going to strip it really finely. And then I'm going to put it back in the pot with the cook pasta and let that cook for another hour. I'm also going to put a little bit sprinkle of basil i did put a little bit of um red pepper flakes and guys let me tell you the parmesan and everything that was put into this pot made this meal one of my favorites and it definitely will be cooked in my house over and over again now let me tell you you need to go to pinterest and get you some amazing fall recipe but before you go there trust me this is one that you need to try because it is good it is delicious it is comfort food for a cozy fall day after placing the pepper flakes i went ahead and get a teaspoon of butter and i put that at the top just for extra flavor then i went in with the lid and just let it simmer for that last hour guys let me tell you my kitchen is smelling amazing but when it was time for dinner i needed something a little bit more sweet so i went in with a toasted banana bread with some fruits guys I had an amazing night. My feet was hurting, so I needed to fix that because we need to take care of ourselves. So when I was having dinner, I took my foot massage and I just sat there and just had a peaceful, relaxing, cozy night. You guys, there's nothing like pasta with a glass of wine on a cozy fall evening it was so relaxing there are no stop signs counting down till we take flight it's how you make me feel yeah yeah let's call and sick and be lazy i'm all for doing what's crazy because you make it real yeah you find a different side of me the one i'd like to be a different side of me Guys, let me remind you, it is not selfish to take care of yourselves. You deserve to be taken care of. So every time you get the opportunity to take care of you, a little extra, go ahead, get it done. My spread, just looking at it, made me happy. And I'm thankful that I got the opportunity to show myself tons of love on a day today basis and i encourage you to do the same as always i want to tell you continue to love yourself continue to love each other well 
and stay blessed. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Stay blessed, you guys. You found a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah.